Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to this order unboxing. So I do kind of remember what's in here, um, certainly some of it, which is the new DC um, Justice League wax and the Haunted Mansion three thumbs up. Um, can't remember what else is in here. Um, oh my gingerbread mini warmer. So and a few bits. So let's just clap on more paper. As we all know by now, since generally package their products really well. So I'll just grab these bits out and then get this box off to the side and we will go through what's in here. So there are a mixture of bits for me and some others. So go through the ones that are for me and that I already have. So I picked up another of the Home for the Holidays collection which is due to release to the general sale on Monday which is the 25th of October. So this is £30 for the pack of five. They can also be bundled and saved into the pack of six for £36.25 or the bundle of three for £20.75 if you didn't want all five of them. So there's Fluffy Fleece, there is Pink Ponsetta, there is Cactus Pear Cider, there's Vanilla Cinnamon Maple, and there is Sweet Pomander and Orange. <coughs> then we have two bars of Disney's Olaf Warm Hugs, which is part of the Christmas or holiday collection. So, Let's get the scent description for this. Okay, so I've got the scent description for this now. And he just wants to be loved, but also have fun. And this surge of cool mint and adventurous snow-covered woods surrounding a heart of warm vanilla is the ultimate homage to his charm. So let's see what this one's like. Ooh, that's... that's that's minty. I like that. I do really like that. It reminds me a little bit of the vanilla mint we had. Is it? But then I suppose possibly because there is mint and vanilla in it, so that could be why it's similar. I like that. Um. Hmm. Look forward to warming that, although. I am going away this afternoon until Sunday, so won't probably won't have a chance to warm that before Sunday. And then we have DC's Justice League. So this is described as bergamot and sandalwood unite with vanilla and water greens for a heroic outcome that's bold and brave. And there are two bars of this. Um, as I said, these aren't all mine for a change. So let's see what this one's like. So this is bergamot, sandalwood, vanilla, and watery greens. Ooh. That. That's quite nice. Um, not sure if it will be, not sure if it'll be a repurchase. We'll see once it's warmed. But yeah, that's, that's quite nice. Um, I'm, I'm quite pleasantly surprised with this one. It's quite fresh. Yeah, I would say that's definitely more of a fresh fragrance. And then we have a Dark and Devious from the Disney Villains collection. So this is a new bar that was released a little while ago this year. And this is Dark and Devious Brooding Black Pepper Star Anise and Cinnamon Stir Up a Plot with Smoked Absinthe an ancient hemlock for the ultimate revenge. So, don't think we've ever had one like this before. Um, I'm not, ooh, that's just hit me as soon as I opened. Ooh, this 
is really nice. I do really like this. Um, it, yeah, that's really nice. I do like that. Um, not sure I get the black pepper. Star anise, yes. Cinnamon, not overpowering. I don't actually know what smoked absinthe smells like. Um, there's a slight smoky hint to it, but... And again, I don't actually know what hemlock smells like either. But I do really like that. I will be warming that soon, well, next week. And then last but not least from the waxes, Disney's Haunted Mansion Three Thumbs Up, which is described as eerie allspice, haunting pumpkin, ghostly cinnamon and sparkling ginger. So I like all of those. So let's see what it's like. So yes, all spice, pumpkin, cinnamon and ginger. So this is a white wax, well, an almost just slightly off white wax. I think I'm, I think I'm slightly disappointed with this one. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad at all, but it's a, bit of a generic bakery fragrance for me. Um, yeah, I think I'm just slight, I think I was, had high hopes for this one. I definitely think this is the better of the two. So that's it for the waxes. And then we shall go on to Mr. Gingerbread. So, I ordered this one to go in my kitchen for the Christmas, well, the winter season. So, I've got the Cut It Out, which is the Jack O' Lantern in there at the moment, which is a seasonal one, obviously, because it's Halloween. And then I've ordered this one, which is most adorable little gingerbread man in his little cup so this is with a plug-in base but you can get it with a tabletop base which just sits on I am actually going to order a tabletop base so that when I get ones like this I can actually show you with it lit up because it's a bit of a pain otherwise um, so yes that's the gingerbread warmer gingerbread man mini warmer uh, it's 24 pounds as a plug-in or 36 as a tabletop one and he is absolutely adorable can't wait for the first of November to get him going but I think I will pop him on just to see what he looks like lit up and I will insert a video uh, insert a picture here that just shows what he looks like lit up so yes he's absolutely lovely so yes that's it from me for today i hope that was helpful and until next time take care stay safe happy warming and have a good weekend see you soon